Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks Online Plus has three account types that track the value of short-term and long-term assets. The Other Current Assets account type tracks assets likely to be converted into cash or used up within one year. Examples of Other Current Assets accounts include prepaid expenses and short-term notes receivable. A Fixed Assets account tracks assets your business owns that are not likely to be converted into cash or used up within a year. Fixed Assets accounts track the value of long-lived assets with a larger value that assists you in performing your business. The value of these items are expensed over the useful life of the asset, which varies. Examples include furniture, some office equipment, computers, and vehicles. An Other Assets account tracks an asset that is neither current nor fixed. Use this account for things like security deposits on leases or intangible assets like Goodwill. QuickBooks Online Plus also has two account types that track long-term and short-term liabilities. The Other Current Liabilities account tracks liabilities your company expects to pay within a year. An example is a short-term loan. A long-term liabilities account tracks debt your business is not likely to pay off within a year. For example, if buying a company vehicle, you often take out a long-term loan. The long-term loan received to purchase equipment is an example of a long-term liability. To create asset and liability accounts in QuickBooks Online, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar and then click the Chart of Accounts link under the Your Company heading in the menu that appears to open the Chart of Accounts page. Then click the New button in the upper right corner of the page to open a New Account pane at the right side of the window. Click a button at the top of the New Account pane to select the account type. Then select the account under which to place this account in the Balance Sheet from the Save Account Under dropdown. If you select an existing account in this dropdown, then this account becomes its subaccount. A preview of the selected accounts within the report appears at the bottom of the pane. Then use the Tax Form section dropdown to select the tax form line for the selected account. Then enter the account's name into the account name field. If account numbering is enabled, you can enter an account number into the account number field. Optionally, you can type an account description into the description field. To enter opening balances and starting dates for most balance sheet accounts, meaning assets, liabilities, and equity, then click to expand the starting date and opening balance section to show a dropdown that lets you select the date for which to enter the account's opening balance. If you select the other date choice, then use the start date calendar dropdown to select the desired date. Next, enter the account's balance as of the selected date into the account balance at end of day selected date field. Opening balances ensure you have correct accounting balances for financial reports. If desired to learn more about opening balances, click the More Info on Opening Balances link. To finish creating the account, click the Save button in the lower right corner of the new account pane. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.